Welcome back to another episode of the Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. I am excited because I'm switching it up a little bit on this video. I have not been in a really good retro video game store in a while. And this particular store is in the same mall as my last video. And I honestly couldn't walk past it without coming through. Now, I'm going to take you guys on a pretty mad tour of this place. But there are so many things that I'm just literally not going to be able to show you in one video. It's going to be worthy of coming back for. This rack alone, which just has a good couple PlayStation games on it, is just one of tons of racks down the center. And I'm going to show you in just a second here. But already I'm seeing some really fun titles. Xena Warrior Princess there in the corner. Phenomenal. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever played it, but like, I love the cover art. Now, check out these cabinets. All the way down are filled with games. Retro, valuable stuff that you don't see in very many locations. At least, that I don't see very often. So, we're going to show these to you here really shortly. Street Fighter 2, <laughs> that's amazing. So, first cabinet, we have Atari. And I mean, look at the old box style of these, eh? This is awesome. We've got Star Wars down below. We had E.T. up on top. This is going to become a new collecting addiction for me. I can just already tell. Like, look at the box art for some of these games. I love the old school style of it. We have another Star Wars, the arcade game. That's interesting. These are for Atari. Up top, we have a little bit more. Very cool. And I mean, of course, feel free to pause the video at any point to see some of this a little clearer. There is so much in this store, like I mentioned earlier, that I won't be able to show you guys everything in one video. But I don't want you to miss anything either, so I'm trying to go as slow as I can. Uh, and I do apologize, of course, for the reflection on the glass. There's not much that we can do about that. These are all locked cases for a reason. Clearly, there's some pretty valuable games in here. Now, for me, I started out with original Nintendo. I kind of moved into Super Nintendo from there. Then I had a Sega Genesis for quite a few years. And on the Sega, I used to play games like Mortal Kombat 2, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So many games, honestly, like that I played with my stepsister at the time, and we played the shit out of Sega Genesis. But as I got older, I, I got excited about the prospect of, you know, 3D type of gaming platform. And when the N64 came out, I'd say that the N64, at least for me, became my all-time favorite system period Zelda Ocarina of Time will still always be my favorite game but like I love seeing some of these original games and controllers that we've got the gun there which is really cool and again like some of the box art here is crazy and I like that coming into a retro store like this you get a chance to kind of see what's been popular in history when it comes to video game. I mean, we got Pac-Man up there, of course. Dreamcast controllers, which is crazy. I haven't seen one of those in a long freaking time. The Sega CDs. <laughs> like, I didn't have the Sega CDs, though. I had the cartridge uh, system with the Sega Genesis. And I never had the Sega Dreamcast. I missed that, honestly, entirely. Star Wars Pod Racer is easily one of my favorite games. I actually had that for computer originally, uh, with a joystick. <laughs> South Park and Resident Evil. Tomb Raider in there and Spider-Man. Like, holy cow. Resident Evil 2 is easily still one of my favorite games of all time. I played the remake version on PlayStation. Uh, quite recently, actually, and it was good. It was really well done. So sliding down to the next one, 
we have uh, here we go some Sega Genesis so soccer oh that's a cool cover NHL 96 it's funny 99 I think was probably my favorite NHL I played the shit out of that although when I had the original I think it was the original Nintendo at this point I had Blades of Steel Blades of Steel was one of my favorite hockey games on a like on a console ever I would get my hands on Blades of Steel again if I could that would be cool I wonder if they have it in this store What else do we see here? Quite a few good games. And honestly, so many games that I've never even heard of. If you guys see any hidden gems in here that I've missed or just skip over, please like shout it out in the comments because <laughs> I would love some suggestions on some of these old games. Wow. Mutant League Football, that's interesting. Cliffhanger. <laughs> An Earthworm Jim. Oh, I used to love Earthworm Jim. Last Action Hero. That was a sweet movie. I wonder how the game is. Sweet movie for back in the day. I don't know if it would hold up now, but I liked it. Cliffhanger. I remember as a kid thinking it had the most swearing in a movie I'd ever heard. <laughs> and I also remember that the bad guy at the end of Last Action Hero was a scary fucking dude. I do like that that Hulk cover, that's cool. Sega Classic, that's funny. All of these are classics. Adam's Family, nice. Alien Storm, I've never heard of that one. That looks like it's a straight rip from the Army of Darkness, kind of. Rolo, interesting. Never heard of it. Pirates. I wonder if that's uh, inspired by everybody's love for Hook back in the day. Oh, Star Trek The Next Generation. There you go. I am a big Star Trek fan, I must say, especially The Next Generation. By far my favorite. Pool on Sega Genesis. Can't imagine that's very fun. Jeopardy. <laughs> Up top, we've got some Super Nintendo game equipment. We've got Panasonic Real FZ1. Don't know what that is. I never had a GameCube. That was one system from Nintendo that I missed. These are interesting covers. Simpsons one is pretty cool. I love the Bartman. There's Blades of Steel. Oh, shit. Oh, I might have to buy that. That might be a buy for me this trip. I'm not going to lie. That's amazing that they have two copies of it as well. Now, considering these are behind the glass cabinets here, like a lot of these prices I do think are actually pretty reasonable. A lot of these games I have never heard of, <laughs> truthfully. So maybe I just don't really know the value of them. But I would expect games that are in this old and this good of condition would still be more expensive than some of these, these price tags. Oh, Robocop. That's cool. Top Gun. I have not seen Top Gun Maverick yet, and I've been hearing some really, really good things. So I may need to see that this weekend. I wish I had just all the systems set up so I could just try any of these games. <laughs> Super Mario, very nice. I don't have the original Nintendo at the moment, I do have the Super Nintendo still, and I've got my N64, as well as the PlayStation and PS3, PS2. <laughs> Back to the future, fuck yes. It's interesting that how as the games get smaller of course then the images on the, the cartridges get smaller so or some of these previous boxes you're seeing like the really cool box art 
but these still have really good art on them. Dr. Mario. Jeez, Shauna is a champ at Dr. Mario. Don't let her ever tell you differently because she'll take all your money. Yeah, these are cool. Kirby. I haven't seen a Kirby game in a long time. I remember liking that back in the day. I wonder how it would hold up for me now as an adult if I'd still, you know, connect with it or not. Probably. Final Fantasy. There you go. I don't even know what Final Fantasy we're on anymore, to be honest. I've lost track of it a bit. Mario 2 and Mario 3. Shauna and I have been playing the heck out of those games lately. Look at them all, though. Like, they just have such a crazy, like, decent collection. Lots of repeats down below, obviously, but that's standard. I appreciate that they front-face the merchandise here at this location really well. Again, this location's in Calgary, Alberta, Video Game Trader. It is 100% worth stopping by here if you guys are a video game fan. Because, like, it just goes on forever. <laughs> and there's so much shit in this store. It's amazing. Okay, let's get repositioned here. Harvest Moon, okay, nice. Shauna loves the Harvest Moon games. I can get that for, uh, for Christmas, maybe. She's been looking for one. Super Game Boy cartridge there, and oh yeah, they've got the whole system as well in there, nice. If you want to buy an, like an in-box system, you can get it here. I like that Star Wars cover. Donkey Kong, very nice. Getting into some later Final Fantasies there, which is also cool. Yeah, Mario All-Stars was one of my, like a staple game for me as a kid. And Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. I didn't play much after 3. I think 2 was the Mortal Kombat that I played probably the most, I would say. That's a cool box on that one. Those Final Fantasy boxes are a little boring in comparison to some of these others. Like, some of these other box art make me want to try these games. Like, even that Justice League game there. That looks pretty cool. Oh my god. I'm going to want to collect everything in this store. This is a slippery slope, my friends. Yoshi's Island. I haven't played that in years. Some of the golf games nowadays are amazing. So... I don't think I would want to revisit an old golf game uh, such as this, but obviously we have some repeats down below. These are just the sections that don't have the boxes, obviously, with them, but still, I mean, some great games. Jurassic Park down here. That's awesome. Honestly, you guys could probably play a drinking game to how many times I'm going to say this is awesome in this video, and I don't even care. I'm having a great time. These are the coolest like retro nostalgia feels for me going either back into old toys or old games you can't beat it no drinking games at my expense though friends what else do i see here that stands out a lot of merchandise now, one of the cool things about this store being a video game trader is that if you have old games that you don't want anymore, you can bring them in and get store credit on them, and they actually give you pretty decent value for the stuff that you bring in, I find, for the most part. Now, obviously, because everybody does that, they do end up with, like, a ton of extra stock. So sometimes they will actually say no thank you, which is fair. Excite Bike? I used to play the heck out of that game. I called it Excite a Bike. I don't know if it's Excite Bike or Excite a Bike, but that you know, Resident Evil 2 on the N64 was when I played it the most, and Turok 2 as well. Love Turok. Actually, I, I re-downloaded it on PlayStation uh, at one point as well, which was a fun play, a fun playthrough. I had that South Park as a kid. What else did I have here? I mean, Golden Knife obviously was a staple uh, back in the day as well. And um, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I loved Star Wars Rogue Squadron. That game, I played start to finish constantly. 
and pod racing like i mentioned earlier uh, in the video like it's those were games that just for me back in the day just really sucked me into the star wars universe perfect dark i remember that game oh look at this that's cool inbox like almost like neon nintendo 64 oh, see they actually have some of the old boxes in here too oh batman beyond and madden 99 oh man that brings me back to pre-gaming at the bar when i was in in well college days anyways we would uh play that such a good time shadows of the empire great game majora's mask of course is a classic like i said early in the video Ocarina of Time for me is by far my favorite game of all time. I actually have a box like this uh, in pristine condition with the game. So, something I've already collected and it's just, it's in my display with my hot toys. That's how much I love it. Mario 64 is also just an absolute classic. I mean, obviously we've seen up on top of the cabinets already down the way there a little bit, but this is just kind of above the display we just looked at. Mario Bros. Oh man. I love that Slimer up there. That's pretty cool. Sega Saturn steering wheel. Interesting. And a Wii. Wii Sports. I remember when Wii Sports came out, I used to go over to my buddy's house in college and we would drink beer and do the bowling. <laughs> it was fun. And now Shauna says her grandparents still use Wii bowling as a form of exercise, which is also amazing. Shauna loves Halo 1 and 2. I think I'm going to have to at some point convert to an Xbox so that she can play it again. Yeah, some pretty cool stuff up there. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so now we're at Sega Saturn. This is a system I did not have. But I'd imagine a lot of these cases are going to have some level of repeats in terms of their system games. The Crow, interesting. That is a very underrated movie. If you never had a chance to watch The Crow, I would actually 100% recommend that. In fact, I may actually suggest that as my next movie of the week on Collecting Weekly Tuesday nights uh, at some point. Because it has been years since I've seen The Crow. The Lost World Jurassic Park, very nice. I have not heard good things about the new Jurassic Park movie, so I'm curious what you guys think about that for sure especially considering how well rated Top Gun Maverick has been uh, recently I like the Sega Saturn cases they look nice they stack really well and they're very easy to read on the side which is nice I like that down below here we've already got some Wii games which is interesting I never actually owned the Wii myself I did find that, like, I don't like controllers like the Wii had. I still like the actual, you know, D-pad style controller with joysticks. But I have not tried a PlayStation 5 controller yet, though, and I heard that they are actually amazing. So, at some point I will talk myself into buying it if I stop buying cool things like games and hot toys. The Resident Evil here for PlayStation 2. Max Payne, by far, was one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games of all time. I don't see it yet, but easily one of the best games. Oh, Scarface. Cool, I never played that on PlayStation. wonder how that would hold up. As I said before, I never got into GameCube. I just kind of missed it, honestly. I was happy enough with the N64, and then I really kind of made that jump into PlayStation 2 and 3 and kind of never went back. I did have the Switch for a period of time and then I sold it, um, but I'm thinking about buying it again, especially for some of the great uh, co-op games that are now available. When I got it, I got it literally exclusively for Breath of the Wild because I love Zelda so much. Final Fantasy up on top. And like I was saying, sometimes you bring some of these games in and you can get an amazing amount of credits. At one point I brought in a whole bunch of old PlayStation 2 games that I just like hadn't played in years and I knew I wouldn't again. And uh, 
and a controller and there was a couple other things that I brought in. I don't remember everything, but I, I ended up getting about $180 worth of credits. So it was cool. I was able to buy more PlayStation 4 games for a while there. I got um, an extra N64 game, a copy of Zelda actually, which is funny. Um, but I liked the fact that they were able to give you a, a kind of an in-store credit based on your phone number. Now at the end case here, like now that we've seen a bunch of the games in the locked cases, we're going to see some controllers. I like that they've got some kind of, you know, knockoff brand options as well. But I mean, if you still are an N64 fan and you need a new controller, they've got all the types. Same with PlayStation, right? I mean, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, uh, all kind of within these cabinets, which is really, really nice. Up on top, we get already some Game Boy Advance games. Uh, and some regular Game Boy games. They have a whole front case at their main display there that we're going to get to uh, that also has a whole lot of, you know, smaller cartridge games and handheld games. Um, <laughs> the Santa Claus, oh my god. Not that I'd play that, but it just kind of stands out. Tim Allen, Santa Claus kind of peeking around. Metroid, very nice. Crash Bandicoot was fun. Family Feud on Game Boy. That's interesting. Very cool. What a cool selection. Oh, there's Max Payne on Game Boy Advance. Interesting. We got some more controllers down here if you need a new controller for your older systems. Oh, can you imagine that? Having like the crisp controller on, a, on an N64. I should say, or well, on an N64 too, because they're... Joysticks were notoriously pretty jiggly, but on some of those old system, that would be sweet. And again, I'm not even going to take you down all those racks. Not on this video. If you guys want me to come back and do the middle racks, please let me know. These are some more arcade games that they have kind of closer to the front of the store as you get closer to the movie section of the store. And again, I'm also not going to take you through much of the movie section because it's very expansive. So again, if you guys want me to come back for the middle racks of the video games, or the movie section, definitely please let me know. Up top, we've got a display of old tube TVs uh, above the movie sections that I did want to show you guys though, because that's pretty cool. I do like that, the old the old school ones. You know, there was a time where you couldn't even give one of those TVs away and now it actually like, it's so old it's cool again. <laughs> got some just kind of some figures up here that caught my eye so I wanted to show you. And they do have like really good sections of movies. Like, like I'll show you this really quick at least. You know, this is a whole horror section that they have, uh, which, I mean, they've got some old cult classic stuff in here, which is cool, but, you know, stuff that's obviously hard to find, and, like, some exclusive box sets. Like, look at that Halloween Mike Myers. That's pretty cool. I like that. And, yeah, like, this is kind of the movie section in here. So we were just over on the far side of the store, obviously, looking at the games, but they got a ton of stuff in here. Oh, this is cool. Forgive me in the imagery here, guys, in the background. Oh, we got some tall cutout cardboard displays. Very nice. And a whole weapons rack of wall. Down here, we got a couple more of, like, the handheld style game systems, as you can see. PSP. I had a PSP for a long time. Zelda DS. Nice. One of Shauna's favorite uh, systems is the DS. For all of you newer listeners, just so you're aware, Shauna is my fiance, so you'll hear me talk about her a lot in the videos, but just in case you didn't know. Oh, old Game Boy games. Love it. I used to have a game case packed with Game Boy games. Those are the old school days. The Ninja Turtles was one of my favorite, uh, favorite games. Oh, look at that SpongeBob DS. That's cool. Shauna would really like that. That's also really cool, Star Wars setup. If you're looking for Game Boys, if you're looking for really any system, this store has it. Game Boy Advances. We're gonna get to a whole other glass case here in just a minute of literally just straight up old ass systems. Amazing. Pokemon cards, nice. What's down here below? Below. E.T. 
what a cool statue on top of what almost looks like a detail is no I, no I don't think it is but I'd be careful about that look at this holy tea setup though Atari games like little statues little figures that's cool the cup <laughs> plushies wow if you need ET come to this store yes earthbound I don't know what that is Some of these clearly have some value, though. Look at that. That's nice. The Zelda insignia on there. The red Wii. Yeah, it's, these, some of these must be clearly exclusive editions if they're in the cabinets. Doom helmet. PlayStation 3. And the Xbox system. I need to get Sean on Xbox, I think. So. Definitely for Halo. If she's willing to play Halo with me all day, I will take it. The Juggernog. I didn't get really into the PlayStation Move. I did own it for a little period of time, but I sold it pretty quick. Just didn't love it. I like sitting on the couch playing a game. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm just fat. It's hard to know. Maybe a little bit of both. They do have like a random like little statue section in here. But, like, I don't know if there's anything that I would necessarily bring into my collection. But it's cool that they have it. Just random extra stuff to look at. This store just is just such a draw for me, it's insane. Over their front counter, they're playing, like, retro games. They've got more games just in the back. There's some of the more, you know, rare or valuable options. This is the shelf I was talking to you guys about earlier, just that has like old systems in here, like the Mega Drive. Obviously some kind of overseas systems that I've never even honestly heard of before, which is really cool. The Mega Retron HD. Sega Genesis in there. And all of these are for sale. Like these aren't just display units. Like if you want an old ass system, this is the place to come, apparently. Olympian 2600? Never heard of it. Video computer system? <laughs> Sounds so old school. Ah, oh, I freaking love this store. I think I see a brisk iced tea Rocky through the glass there. We'll get there, but <laughs> that's random. Doom in there. More helmets up on top. Down below is a whole case of Switch games, but they're all pretty new games, so I'm not, again, I'm not going to take you through that. I was really looking at more of the retro stuff. This catches my eye, though. I don't know what this is from, but wow! Look at the teeth on that treasure box. <laughs> that is awesome. I also like these. Telstar. That doesn't even look fun. <laughs> Why does anybody buy these things? I mean, unless you're an absolute hardcore system collector, I can't imagine why some of these would be in your system, like, collection. But, at least for play-wise. To look at them, very, 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 very cool. The green N64. Oh, I had the original black version. I would have died for a green N64 back in the day. But you get what you get. I was still a fortunate kid even having an N64 at the time, honestly. Yeah, some of these are old. It looks like a phone. Some kind of weird radio. Keyboards. It's not a keyboard. It's clearly a game. Like, that's an Atari system there. That's interesting. Wow. Tandy Vision. Up on top of this display, too, they literally have this Yoda. Wearing Hulk gloves. I love this store. And we've almost made it all the way around the store. At the very front, you can sit down and literally play Super Mario World if you want. And yes, this was definitely a Brisk Ice Tea sign with the Rocky. I absolutely love it. That is the store. That is Video Game Trader 
here in Calgary, Alberta. But as always, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button for me, smash the subscribe, let's get the count up, and thanks for watching. We'll do some more of these for sure. This was a great time. <laughs>